6.30 up for, for uh, Rabbit Ears Radio, and after that it's the San Francisco Symphony. This is KBYUFM, Provo, Salt Lake City, and... Uh, well, up next, Angie Burden joins us with a man who's seen foreign places on foot. And we'll show you a 78-year-old who can shred the slopes like a teenager. Stay with us. Youth hostels, the Euro Rail, and a single backpack may not be your idea of a dream vacation, but it was for our guest today. Here to tell us about his adventures is Kevin Coger, who backpacked through several European countries by himself for six weeks last summer. Thanks, Kevin, for joining us today. No problem. Kevin, why backpacking through Europe? Well, backpacking because I couldn't afford to go any other way, and Europe because I served a mission in southern France, and since I've been home, I've I always wanted to go back, and that was my chance to do it. Great. Uh, what um, countries did you visit? Well, I started in France and spent a majority of my time there because I knew people and could stay for free, and I was on a very limited budget. But I also went to Germany, Spain, Austria, Switzerland, Czechoslovakia, Italy, Greece, Turkey, and Hungary. <laughs> and what exciting, I mean, those are great countries. What exciting things did you see? Well, one of my favorite places, I guess, would have been the Greek islands. I have took a ferry. I made my way down to Turkey, went to Istanbul, went down the coast in Turkey, and then I took ferries in through the Greek islands. And they're beautiful. It was warm. It was in late October, but it was still warm and sunny. Got to stay on the beaches. It was really nice. And also, another surprising favorite that I had was the city of Prague in Czechoslovakia. I hadn't heard too much about it, but I went there, love the city, it's beautiful, full of energy, and exploding since it's become a, a free nation. Right. And so you do speak French, I take it. You served a mission in France? Yes. That's another reason that it was good to stay in France, because I could speak with the people. Right. So what did you do when you were out of France and you had to speak, I mean, other European languages? Um, I didn't get to speak much. <laughs> You look for people that speak English, but often, especially in the Euro Eastern European countries, you can't find many people that do speak English. So you hope that they can understand your gestures and sign language and get the idea across that you need a bathroom and not dinner or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would hope that you could make that distinguish between the bathroom and dinner, yeah. Um, did you have any interesting experiences with any of the people over there, anything that scared you or that was just interesting? Well. One of the fun things about staying in youth hostels is that you do meet a lot of people. I went by myself, and every time I stayed in a youth hostel, I would meet other, other people, sometimes Americans, sometimes Australians, or I met lots of Canadians. And we, if we had planned to stay in the city for a few days and we were going to be there together, we would stay together, run around the city together. And I met really a lot of really fun people that way. And I met people that I'm still staying in contact with now. Good. Um, really quick, did you have any, I mean, backpacking, you only had one backpack, is that correct? Right. D did you use any special techniques of packing to get everything in there that you needed for six weeks to two months? Well, the, the main technique is just not to take very much. Um, and you just, you don't need many clothes, especially if you're going in the warmer weather. You can just take shorts and t-shirts. And just try to get rid of all the extras and then shove it all in. Rolling it up works nicely instead of folding it. <laughs> How much total did your trip cost? Including all my tickets and all my travel and everything, just over $2,500. So it's really not quite as expensive as some people might think. Great. Well, thank you for joining us today, Kevin. Cool. Back to you, Chris and Isa. Well, thanks, Angie and Kevin. Not many seniors.